All right, all right. Let's talk about what you need to know for the INBDE exam. Today, we have an exciting topic. We're going to be talking about crowns and bridges with Dr. Marion. Now, when I tell you this information, if you don't have a pen and paper ready, go get it right now because you're going to need to write down this information because it is important for your exam. So without any further ado, let's welcome Dr. Marion to the MDI Prep Program. Hi, Dr. Stetton. It's nice to be here again. All right, all right. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. Crowns and bridges. How, I guess my first question is, what percentage of the test do you think makes up crowns and bridges? Um, I guess I will say the number of questions. So okay. maybe, maybe eight or nine questions. Oh, okay. That's a considerable amount of questions. Yeah. So if you can get those right, that's important. Yeah. Okay, good, good. All right, well, listen, the floor is yours. Take it over. Yeah, absolutely, sure. So um, um, probably they will ask about materials or um, something in the crown itself. So um, I've got two questions on the materials. So um, um, the question will be something like, uh, which material not to use with the bruxism? Oh, okay, bruxism. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and the options will be zirconium, Emax, feldsparic, or PFM. Okay. And um, you got to be really uh, careful with how they write the question. Okay. So they said which material not to use. Not. One yes. of those not questions. Yes, exactly. Ah, okay, okay. So the material that we don't use with bruxism is feldspheric because it's the weakest porcelain. Okay, okay, that's interesting. So actually, you can you can just see the question and you see which material and bruxism, and you'll see like okay, zirconia is the first thing that we choose with the um, with the bruxer. Okay. So you got to be really careful and read the question very well. Oh, so that's one of those things where you can make a simple mistake. Yeah, exactly. You, if you don't see that word not. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I like that. Okay, okay. All right, perfect. That's a gr Yeah, that's great. So, yeah. So zirconia is the one that we use with the bruxism, but feldsparic is the weakest porcelain, so we don't use it with the bruxism. Now, let me ask you. The, so those other choices that are on there, those are also things that you can use with bruxism? Yes, okay. you can. Pith, um, yes, you can use it, of course, with bruxism, yeah. Okay, I got you. But it, it, it's not like the first thing you would Just, even yes, use. Yes, exactly. It's not the first thing. Yeah. Ah, that's interesting. The cognac is the first thing that you use with bruxism, yeah. Okay, perfect. Okay, great. Yeah. So the second question is, um, it will be like a case. So uh, a patient needs a posterior crown and does not like the metal showing on the margins. Okay. On his current number 19 crown. Okay. So when they say the metal showing on his margin, this means that he had PFM, porcelain fused to metal. Okay, okay. So what is his best option? So he's saying best option. Mm, so best. Can, yes, exactly. So you got to pay attention to the question again. Mm. So the options will be feldsparic, and we already talked about in the first question, mm. or PFM which he already has, but they didn't mention that he has porcelain fused to metal, but they said that it's metal showing on the margins, and you got to know if they're saying metal showing on the margin that is porcelain fused to metal. Okay, okay. And the third thing is zirconium, or the fourth thing is Emax. Okay. So the one that we use with a patient on a posterior teeth is zirconium, and uh, because zirconium is the strongest... A kind of uh, porcelain. Uh -huh. Emax, we use it. Uh, it's a certain kind of uh, porcelain, but we use it for anterior teeth because it's translucent. Okay, gotcha. So that's one of those best answer questions. Yes. Meaning other answers could be okay. Yeah. But they're not the best choice. Yeah, exactly. Mm, that could be tricky. Yeah, it can be tricky. So the two questions actually could be tricky if you don't read it very well. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's yeah. why a lot of people make simple mistakes. Yeah. Yeah. So so that is, uh, yeah, definitely. Uh, you really need to read the question very well. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Okay. All right. What you got next? So, yeah. So the third question, actually, it is um, an interesting topic. And um, I guess I had quite tough time studying it for the INBDE uh -huh. until someone explained it in your class. 
Okay. And uh, they explained it really well, the instructor. Okay. I can recall the name though. <laughs> right, right, okay. Yeah. All right. And um, and I did find it in my exam. Oh, okay. So, um, so yeah, so the crown, usually when we talk about the color, we have three different properties. Okay. Uh, the chroma, mm -hmm. which is the saturation, the um, saturation of the color itself. Okay. Or the value. Okay. The value in the lightness or darkness of the color. Okay. Or the hue. Yep. yep. Which is the wavelengths or the actual color. That's right. Okay. So the board, they love to ask questions about the value. Okay. I've never seen any question, like from the remembered questions as well, about any other properties except the value. Just the value. Yeah. Okay. So the value is their favorite. Okay. Gotcha. So, so yeah. So it would be a question like, if you stain a crown. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. What color properties do you change? Okay. So do you change the value or the chroma or the hue or the translucency? Mm. So, yeah, you got to just put it in your mind that the it's going to be value. Value. Yeah. Value. Uh, yeah. So, so most, yes. of the, <laughs> most of the answer choices yeah. regarding this type of question is going to be value. Yeah. And um, value is the only color property that is eye sensitive. Okay. Okay. So um, maybe they will ask something about this too. And also, you need to know that you cannot by adding when you're adding stain, uh -huh. you're lowering the value of the tooth. Oh. So yeah, it's it's a bit tricky. So that's why yeah. I'm, I was saying I was telling I you like I was that. having a hard time. So you can increase the value by lightening the tooth. Okay. Or you decrease the value by darkening the tooth. Okay. But in like in our work environment, yep. you cannot really increase the value because because you cannot take stains out of the crown. Uh -huh. The only option you have when you have the crown is to add stains on. Okay. And when you add stains on, you lower the value. So the bottom line is, is when you get this question on a test, it's all about the value. Yes. Um, it is about the value. So understand it very well. Understand that. They play with the words. They play with the cases. Mm. Um, so, yeah. It, if, I, if I have one advice to give, yeah. just understand what value means and understand how does it work when you have a crowd. So this particular type of question or whatever, that's also in a case? Yeah. They give you that in that case. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Or actually, they, they can give you also a picture and they say where we need to, um, uh, what kind of color property can we change on this crown? Oh, they give you just a picture of the crown. Yeah. And then, oh, I like that. Okay, very good, very good. Okay, that's wonderful. So those are the like the major things that yeah. you see regarding crowns and bridges. Yeah. And so you said about eight questions. Yeah. Which is, like I said, again, that's a lot. And uh, in terms of these value, you know, ones, the questions with the value, how many questions of with the value do you, that um, you saw? I guess I got two. About two of those questions? Yeah, okay. I, got, I got a crown that is like, yeah, I told you, it's like a photo of a crown that, that was very, that was opaque. Okay. And they would ask, what was the reason ah, that this okay. crown is opaque? Okay, okay. The chroma, the hue, the value, the translucency. Gotcha. And so, and so you don't remember who taught you this in the class, but you said that this is one of the things that they did cover yes. in the MDI prep class with you. Yes. And actually there was a kind of a photo that they explained how, because I didn't really get how when you, when you add stain, you lower the value. And when you add the value, when you increase the value, you lighten the tooth. And when you decrease the value, you darken the tooth. Whoa. They have a diagram of that. Okay. And okay. it did work. You know what? See, that's what I'm talking about. That's why these podcasts are so important because, um, you know, a lot of times people will study, 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 yeah. and they'll be studying the wrong thing. Yeah. And then just like this bit of information you just gave them about, hey, make sure you know about the value. That's important for somebody who's studying. But, yeah. of course, we know if you want to know the best material, you got to come to MDI Prep. You got to come to our online class because – in the MDI prep online class, you're going to learn things that you would not learn on your own. And that's the value of having somebody there to instruct you. So, and again, like I said, now, you know, you come in and you sharing these wonderful things with us. That's important. And then on top of that, just to let everybody know, Dr. Mary now is a part of the MDI prep team. 
and she is teaching some wonderful classes. Uh, I think you just uh, completed a radiology class, right? Yes, yes. Let me just tell you guys, if you have not had a chance to join uh, the the MDI prep program, I suggest you join today. Do not hesitate. Join today. So I'm sure we're going to be hearing from you quite soon. Are you preparing anything else for us in the future? Anything that you're looking to cover with us in our podcast? Um, Maybe prosthesis as well, because we haven't covered it yet. We haven't. We haven't. Yeah. Yeah, that would be good. So I guess we can look forward to having a prosthesis uh, podcast with you pretty soon. Yes, sure. Well, thank you so much once again for joining us here at MDI Prep. And again, anybody who wants to pass their INBDE exam, be sure to visit us at www.mdiprep.com. Or you can always give us a call just to talk to us first to see exactly what our program offers. Our number is one 888 Eight two seven nine eight eight one, and the thing that you can understand and you can be relieved with is that you know once you're here, we're going to take care of you. As we say always, don't worry about how hard it gets. You got this. <laughs>